Hi everyone, I wanna make a video regarding buying a house in El Salvador from living in the United States. So I became a homeowner in El Salvador a few months ago, and I wanted to give you information regarding that. Um, it's not hard to buy a house out in El Salvador, um, as many people would think. Um, anybody can buy a house out there, whether you're a citizen from El Salvador or you're not, you can actually buy a house. Um, so in my experience, um, I was born in El Salvador, so I went ahead and went on a trip, fell in love with the country and, um, you know, wanted to keep going back. I wanted to take my kids so they could know what it's like to live in El Salvador and, and just have that culture in them. So we went a couple of times and I realized that the Airbnbs I was renting were very expensive. That was like the biggest um, expense or the biggest chunk of expense during our trip. So I, you know, said to myself, what if I buy a house out here and every time I come, I won't have to spend another dime on renting and, you know, I can also Airbnb my own a house out here. Um, you know, the country has made a huge change and a lot of tourism is happening now. So, you know, I thought the best thing for me would be to buy a house and to Airbnb it. Um, I started looking into banks in El Salvador um, to be able to get, um, you know, a, a loan to buy a house because houses are not that cheap in El Salvador. Once upon a time they were, but um, because, you know, El Salvador's currency is a dollar, it's, you know, very expensive. So um, the first thing I did is I got a Dewey, which is kind of like the equivalent to an ID here in the United States. Um, and I actually was in El Salvador when I decided I'm going to get my Dewey. So all I needed was my um, birth certificate from El Salvador. And, and I went to um, like a DMV type of office in El Salvador and I was able to get a Dewey on the same day. With that, um, I started researching the different banks um, and the different uh, interest rates that they offered. And interest rates in El Salvador are not low. They're higher than they are here. And especially if you're not a citizen citizen of El Salvador and you're you know, from the United States, the interest rate is a little higher. So um, there's different banks, different interest rates, and there's also the possibility of working with the developers of certain um, homes out there, and they can directly give you a loan. So things are a little different when it comes to buying a house in El Salvador than they are here in the United States. Usually here, I know in the United States, you would um, try to get the bank to approve you for a loan, and then you're approved for X amount, let's say $400,000, and with that letter or with that approval, you go house hunting and you're looking for a home that's within that range, right? Well, in El Salvador, they want you to have the house first and then you start working with the banks. Uh, so it's kind of a little different and a little bit backwards. So um, I started looking for properties online and I came across the different properties, whether you want a property in the city or you want a property in the mountains or the beach everything's different. So if you're looking into buying a house in El Salvador that's in the city, you're looking at about a 10% down payment that they're asking. If you go to the beach or you go to the mountains, they're going to ask and request a 20% down. And that's just for people who live outside of El Salvador. If you lived in El Salvador and that was your home country, you would, you would be able to get a house with like three percent down so um because you know you are from the united states you're gonna have to pay, pay a bigger down payment so um so yeah so then you start looking for houses and you start looking at the different prices and once you find a house that you're interested in then you start contacting the different banks and, you know, you put in an application, just kind of like what you do here in the United States, and you wait and see if you're approved. Um, 
follow me for part two on what it's like to fill out the application and to find out what, you know, homes look like and how much, you know, they are depending, you know, whether you want a beach house or a city. And I'll also be talking about my Airbnb and how my Airbnb is doing. Okay. Thank you.